Can we count the number of sigma and pi bonds in a molecule? Well, yes, the first bond between any two atoms is always sigma. And then if there are second or third bonds between those two atoms, each of those counts as pi. A quick glance here shows me a pi bond here, a pi bond here, and two pi bonds here. That makes four. But counting sigmas can be more difficult, especially with a condensed structural diagram, because hydrogens aren't shown, etc. I propose we redraw this and show each of the bonds together. I'm going to start with this carbon at the top here. I'm going to put a C there. Now, I don't have any bonds yet, so let's not get excited. I do have a single bond to this carbon down here and a single bond to this carbon down here. The first bond between any two atoms is sigma, so I already have one, two sigma bonds. But carbon atoms need four bonds total, so what gives with that one? Well, the answer is that there's a bond to a hydrogen and another hydrogen, both of which are not shown on this diagram. So that's four sigma bonds total so far. I'm going to proceed this way. There's a sigma bond between this carbon and that carbon, but then the second bond between those two is pi. I'm going to put it in red. I do expect four of those pi bonds by the time I'm done the molecule. That carbon is, oh, and that carbon needs four bonds too. So it is also bonded to a hydrogen, and that sigma bond wasn't explicitly shown here. This carbon is single bonded to that carbon, and again, a, high, a bond to hydrogen wasn't shown. That carbon is single bonded to this carbon, which in turn was single bonded to the oxygen. Oh no, wait, double bonded. The second bond between the two is pi. Now that was bonded to an oxygen, and that oxygen was bonded to hydrogen. I'm going to explicitly show that bond with a single line here to show that it is an extra sigma bond in the molecule. Now I'm done with this substituent here, so I'm going to come back up. Carbon. Now that carbon has one, two, three things bonded to it, so I need a fourth. There's the hydrogen that was not shown. That carbon was single bonded to that carbon. It had two hydrogens that weren't shown. That carbon was single bonded to another carbon. And then it was triple bonded to the next carbon in the chain. The first bond between the two is sigma. The next two are pi. Oh look, one, two red lines for the two pi bonds in that triple bond. It was connected to carbon. That carbon needs a fourth bond, so it has an H there. And then this carbon, we don't want to forget that it also needs its fourth bond of H. I believe I've shown all of the hydrogens here that weren't shown here, and now it's just a case of actually counting the sigma bonds, which I've put in blue. I'm going to start here. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to include that yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I believe I count 21 sigma bonds here. And as we discussed before, 1, 2, 3, 4 pi bonds. You would never guess 21 sigma bonds from this molecule unless you were to outfit it with the hydrogens that were required right off the bat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine hydrogens that weren't shown. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, you know what? I double checked it. 21 sigma bonds. Thanks for being with me. Hope that made sense. Hope it made you more confident in being able to count them yourself. And best of luck.